Well, hello everybody. How are you? How are you? My name is Wayne, and you are still watching Inside Montclair. And you see that sign over there that says Trend Gallery? You've been here with me before many times, some wonderful exhibitions. We've had an opportunity of meeting wonderful people in Montclair, artists, of course. And the reason why I'm back today is because this guy right over here, Philippe Vallée, how are you, sir? I'm okay. I'm still here. So. You're still here? That's always a good sign. Isn't it always a positive thing? Yeah. First, let me just say it's always a pleasure to chat with you. Thank you. And when you've opened up Trend Gallery, it's been a couple months already. Yeah, three months, exactly. Something like that. We've had some wonderful shows here, and we've gotten involved with showing art. Yes. And there's so many different levels of art. Yeah. And we always celebrate the artist as well as their work. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about celebration, there's mm -hmm. something happening this month, February, oh, yeah. that is coming up. Yeah. First of all, let me just ask you this. How do you feel about still being here? Your thoughts about being in the gallery now? Oh, I, um, I'm very pleased. And, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, it's like... Uh, the gallery starts to have um, a lot of impact. Yes. The right one, that's the uh, most important. And uh, the people, the people, they solicit me for many different type of art and many different, uh, eventually, uh, uh, occasion to celebrate something, you know? I think it's a great area to showcase people's work. I know you're involved with people that are involved with painting. It's yeah. Sometimes you have poetry readings, you have a lot of different things here. Yeah. But one of the things I want to talk to you about that's coming up pretty soon, not that far away from now, mm -hmm. we're going to be celebrating Black History Month here. Yes. Because you have a very special guest. Tell everybody who it's going to be. Okay, uh, for that occasion, a special occasion, we're going to have a Oliver Lake. Oliver Which Lake. Is, uh, the name uh, maybe ring the bell to you. I don't think there's anybody in Montclair or actually almost anywhere in the world yeah. that doesn't know Oliver Lake. I think maybe his first, when people first hear about him, they think of him playing his music. But he's involved with poetry, he's involved with painting. And I think that's kind of special. So he's going to be up here. He's well, going to be. When is he going to be here? He's going to be the 15th. We're going to have a. February 15th. Yes, the opening show. Uh, he's going to exhibit, uh, actually I have a meeting with him the 9 uh, and we're going to decide together how many paintings we're going to make, the way we're going to uh, make the setup, and uh, it's going to be uh, fantastic. He is so, he's almost as popular as you are in this town. I mean, I've, if I had Philip Vallée and Oliver Lake in the same room, people wouldn't know where to go. Yeah. But I think that's exciting. We're going to be celebrating his work, mm -hmm. and I'm not quite sure exactly what the surprise will be when he gets here, but you're going to be going over his work that will be on the walls here, right? Absolutely. Now, when we talk about also just the celebration of art, one of the things I know that you're going to be doing here, you're adding a, something, a little something new to the twist of what's happening here, right? Yeah. Um, what are you going to be doing? Me, you know, I have so many people from uh, my contact before, and, uh, and some new, uh, new contacts, uh, they say, oh, why you never teach, why you never teach? And so, so um, after a reflection, and I was thinking, and I remember my period of I was teaching in my gallery, Said, just why, just why for those that maybe weren't around a couple of years ago, you had some incredible things going on with past galleries. Some of your opening exhibits were fantastic, mm -hmm. but you were involved with the teaching and sharing your knowledge with other people back then yes. too. Yeah, and you want to get back into that a little bit, huh? Yes, yeah, so actually the, the, the room, the way, the way we are now, is going to be a studio. It's going to be a studio now, it's okay. It's going to be a studio, we're going to have uh, classes and many other type of uh, artistic event I want, I want to create, you know, for, for the people with... Uh, a lot of uh, imagination. <laughs> I don't think anybody that's involved with any art on any level doesn't have a huge imagination. Because isn't that a big part of art, just having an imagination and then maybe transferring it to canvas? Yeah. As an example? You know, it's like, okay, you know, I always said uh, um, you never chose to be artist, you born artist. Ah. Okay. Yes. And um, you can be talented, uh, which is meaning you can go in a school and, and learn to draw, to painting, to mix the the, the, the painting uh, and doing something very realistic uh, that never means you are an artist because an artist is capable to uh, destroy, uh, transform, uh, put the element in And don't you also have to you suffer need, a little bit too, right? You need to have a, <laughs> not, not all the time, but sometimes, right? Struggle <laughs> a moment, okay? Right. But also what you need to do is uh, uh, you, you, have, you need to have that power to uh, before you do something to visualize, ah. so your brain, your brain uh, uh, has ready uh, project to you ready the image of what you can do with, with your imagination. Well, but I this think... is one part of the class I want to do it. Okay. Uh, so if you uh, come in my classes, don't expect to be uh, uh, 
um, to take myself like, as a teacher, like uh, in a school or in a museum. That's uh, never going to happen. Um, I am for free expression, and I'm going to here to. Uh, I'm going to be here to help people to to go learn te technique, that, that technique. level, open the level of you become eventually an artist. Well, I think that's going to be exciting. I, I yeah. look forward to actually you having one of your another original shows where sometimes we say that work. But it, but even in general for a trend gallery, you're also looking for other artists and people that might be wanting to get involved with you here as well to show some of their work that's also done, right? Yes, and uh, not only that, but uh, you see, uh, I have a um, friend, uh, and you know the, 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 the people because we are friends for so many years. Uh, they are a professional photographer, and, so. and uh, some they ask me, uh, can I teach uh, sometime in, in, in this place? So oh, I we photography are in class. process to, to, okay. to do that too. You know? Well, that's one of the things I just wanted to chat with you about. Every once in a while, we get to, we'll always get together like this and talk about what's happening here. Mm -hmm. But I think the most current one coming up now, again, Oliver Lake, February 15th, yes. in celebration of Black History Month. And actually, I think he's been in Montclair for about maybe like you, six, seven thousand years, something like that. Yeah. But the idea is that it's, he's a famous dude and we're very happy to be able to see his work. Mm -hmm. And should people want to be able to get in touch with you, maybe I'll let people know that how at the end of the segment you yes. have to be some way of doing that. Okay. But it's just exciting that you're bringing art always alive here in Montclair. Thank you so much and it's my pleasure. It's so look, you, know, Montclair. you rest up, don't catch the flu, stay, <laughs> yes. stay, stay nice and healthy. Yeah. And folks, don't forget, February 15th, Hour of a Lake, here at Trent Gallery, and more to come from this incredible place right here on 411 Bluefield Avenue. Until we meet again, my name is Wayne Robbins. I'll see you next time inside Montclair.